Ah, drinking a nice cold pint at a pub. A true British delicacy. There really is nothing like sitting with your friends, having a drink and regretting it in the morning when you wake up for work. But as much as we can all agree on how much we love having a drink, there is still one problem. Which pub do you go to? Well, today we will find out, ladies and gentlemen, as we have decided to split into two teams and visit 50 London pubs per team in 24 hours. Which means by the end of this video, we will have finally answered the question, what is the best pub in London? Right lads, two teams, 100 pubs, that's 50 each in 24 hours. It's nine o'clock, you ready? Let's go. The time starts now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're about to get hammered, we're about to get hammered. This is gonna be dangerous. And with the teams underway, it was time to visit the first pubs, which is where we quickly found out that starting a pub crawl at 9 a.m. may not be the most popular idea. Has anyone been in yet this morning? We're the first. But regardless of our poor life choices, we made it to the crown and cushion. Well, can we just talk about how it's like half nine and we're sat here yeah. drinking already? I feel so <laughs> grim, mate. Really? Are you not enjoying? No, I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> and would you know it? We finally see civilization. We finally spotted life. <laughs> you, sound like, you sound like you've just molested a lot of people. <laughs> What do you think, like, Curtis and Charlie are up to right now? Well, I'm glad you asked, Callum, because whilst you guys have been wasting the viewers' time with your little jokes, I thought I could make this video a bit more educational. So behind us here, we have the Red Lion. Now, this is a pub in Westminster. It was founded in 1424, and it's very, very popular amongst MPs and journalists. Obviously, the Houses of Parliament is 30 seconds away, so it makes sense that the scum of the earth would be in here drinking, eh? Rumour also has it, there's a secret tunnel directly from the Houses of Parliament underground to this pub so they don't have to deal with the riffraff on the streets. Who knows? And with our history lesson all over, it was time to sit down, have a drink, and give a well thought out analysis. I fucking hate this pub. <laughs> oh, we have a voice note. Very nice. From, from Lily. Oh uh, yeah, uh, so I should probably explain this, shouldn't I? Throughout the day, both teams will have to do three challenges with each challenge being worth a point. The team with the least points at the end of the day will have to pay for all the drinks purchased by both teams. And let's just say, it's not exactly cheap. Your first challenge is, who can down a drink the quickest? The slowest member loses the challenge for whatever group they are in. Oh. Lowest oh. member loses the Down in drinks on the second pub, yeah, yeah I mean, boy. Like, if there's one challenge I'm gonna win, it'd probably be it's that. It's gonna be that one. So who's doing it? You. Oh, really? It'll be Callum, just simply because he's a northerner. It's my northern blood, it's yeah. I'm good at. Let's go, boys, let's go. And here we are, challenge one, down this pint. Go on, I'm son. gonna beat Callum Markey. Open up the gun. How do you open up the gun? Now after me and Curtis put our bodies on the line, both teams proceeded to visit the next lot of pubs. And throughout our visits, we discovered that Charlie was Canadian in a past life. Oh, it's uh, it's Maple Leaf, eh? Oh, it's a Canadian pub, eh? Ooh, ooh, watch ice hockey, eh? Curtis discovered what outdoor seating is. It's got an outside, that puts up the points, right? Definitely, mate. Oh, and I carried on chasing my lifelong dream of becoming a comedian. Where's the faster marsh? <laughs> <laughs> You get it? Because it's the opposite of slower. Still proud of that one, I can't lie. The Marquess of Anglesey, you right? You got that down right, the Marquess of Anglesey. The Duke of Sussex. Prince Harry, if you will. I reckon he works there. Let's go meet him. Can I, have you got Corona? We've only got soul. Yeah, that's right. Can I grab a soul, please? Uh, you want a table for three? Can I a drink? Sure. There's a little heater as well. Well, on that table. Oh, amazing. Oh, Thank you. Oh, it's a really good atmosphere. Nice drinks. A lot of space. You know, just a good vibe in here. The Marquess of Anglesey, very good, I'm liking it. First thought is, staff really nice, but bloody hell it's pricey. It was the most expensive pub, but I will say, they have given me a glass with a lime. Oh, not the lime. Cod and chips, £16.50. Nah, you're taking the piss now, you're taking the piss. I was gonna give you a 7.5, now it's a seven, sorry. Oh my God, Luke, it, it is a bad you were a barman. Right. Luke, yeah. Fember, Warrington the third. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> The Duke of Sussex, that's like your uncle or something in it, I swear. <laughs> so as we approached the 30th pub, it was clear to see that the alcohol was starting to take effect. So I know good girls like big guys. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, big fish, yeah. little fish, cardboard box. I've had this problem for a real long time. And this is why we never go to Roxy, ladies and gentlemen. Speak for yourself. <laughs> 
<laughs> but regardless of our lack of sobriety, it was time for challenge number two. <sighs> another one already. Oh, we have oh, another oh, challenge. Oh, oh God. All right, let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. It's not a good thing. Your next challenge is the first team to have a drink at 10 pubs wins. Oh, for fuck's okay, sake. We, we, need we need to go, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. let's go. We gotta go now, fuck's sake. Camden, here we come. Already a little bit wanker. I'm gonna throw off, man, I promise. Oh, fuck. We need to be quick, we need to be quick, we need to be quick. Go, 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 go. Right, right, Piccadilly, Piccadilly. Can I have a Sambuca, please? Yeah, for Sambuca. Well, we're in a rush, innit? <sighs> let's go. Next pub. Uh, we like to drink with Ben, cause Ben is our mate. Woohoo! Let's, Let's go. go. Take him on for the team again. Cheers. Ready? Oh, fucking hell. Samuka's so, so rotten. He, mate, he's so out of me, he doesn't care. <laughs> the last of the ten in a row. Let's have a look what's going on in here. My liver's got a kick in already, man. Now, for the purpose of suspense and, let's be honest, a bit more watch time, we're going to leave the results of that race until the end of the video. <laughs> You're so fun. The next pub that we're going to is Bow Street Tavern. The princess of Shoreditch. I want to be the little princess, please. Oh, there's a ghost, there's a ghost on the ceiling. Have you ever been to a pub, right? It's got views of London like that. I don't think so, matey. What? what? <laughs> I feel like you're feeling a little bit drunk, mate. Oh, I'm feeling more than a little bit drunk, I'll tell I, you I, that. And they're showing football on the bottom floor. So they got four floors of excellence and footy on the bottom. This might be winning so far. The two bridges. Let's go. The jam and rye. Let's go and have a little drink, shall yeah, we, man? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've never felt so out of place in a pub before. Yeah, it was a bit of a strange <laughs> feeling, that one. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we go in there. First of all, yep. F1's either in, like, suits or, like, fancy coats, you know. The thing is, as well, annoyingly, looks like a really nice pub. Got the football, big TV. Yeah, looks like it would be good for the World TV, Cup next year. TV. I just felt... Unwelcomed. <laughs> nice deco everywhere. Very nice deco. However, a little bit small for a big man like me. The shipwright's arms, and it's got an outside area as well, you know. Now here we are outside the White Swan, right in King's Cross. There's fireworks going. Let's hope that this is an explosive place, eh? Oh, yeah. you got him, bro. You got him. I feel like it's another one where we don't belong. I feel like London Bridge, we may have to pass <laughs> you over quite soon. We're not pushing enough for this area, I'm sorry. See, that's what I like about Weatherspoons. When there's booths, I love it. This is really far up the top of the list already. We stood outside so we felt like we didn't belong inside. <laughs> Imagine you were getting dressed up to go to prom, but every night. That's the review. The shipwright's arms. If you like prom, you'll probably like it. So our next pub is here, but there's one, two, three police cars right outside. So this might be a bit interesting. Let's hope it's the best in London, eh? <laughs> so here we are at the Barrel Vault. We're going to have a nice taste of drinks in here and rate it. We don't belong again. Why is this so posh everywhere? Everything's on point. It's just a little bit rammed, specifically when we've come in here today. And as we approached the last 25 pubs, it was now time for the final challenge. But we need to be ready, right? If it's quick, if it's something to do quickly, yeah, yeah, yeah. as soon as we hear it, we're off. Your next challenge is the first team to get a stranger to do a shot wins. First team to get a stranger to do a shot wins. Shame. Who's not going to take a free Anybody shot? Anybody so you going to buy someone a shot? You're going to buy your shot, yeah? You're going to buy your shot. Nah, it's all nah, good. It's it's part of the good. challenge. Are you doing a shot as well? Yeah, Go on, man. Can I record you while you do a shot? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go on, go on, go on. My niece was telling me about it. She's seen you know, all these influencers and all these people. Yeah. TikTok and all this stuff. Yeah, That's what you're yeah. after, Yeah, exactly. Hey, there it is. Yeah. Oh, lovely stuff. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hi. Brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Cheers, dude. Cheers, lovely. Go on. Hey! Hey, good luck, man. Nice one, mate. Good nice luck. one, nice, nice one. Job, and you know the deal by now. We're going to leave the results to the end of the video to add suspense. Oh, and, uh, yeah. The, uh, the watch time as well. Just a little bit of head on that, you know what I mean? Right, slight problem, uh, the pub we were gonna go to on our route is close, so we need to find enough one. Oh, wait! Wouldn't it be like, so weird and absolutely spontaneous if we met him with those guys? There's one there, Ben! God, <laughs> what are the chances? How mad and absolutely coincidental would that be? The Pommelers rest. Will it be the best in London? Oh, and can you believe oh, this? Oh, wait a minute! What, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you guys doing here? What the hell? So as you can see, we somehow completely 100% unintentionally met up at the next pub. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, this was the point where I had to break some awful news. So, uh, I just want to address the elephant in the room. Where's Luke? 
Ah, uh, yeah, um... Funny story. <laughs> so as you can see, at this point, Luke had left us. I mean, he didn't die or anything, he just got a bit too drunk. Mate, the pubs have actually gotten to me a bit. I'm a bit drunk, I'm a bit tired, and I don't think I'm gonna make it anymore, to be honest. Like, I think you guys should carry on. You guys can make the rest of the pubs. Go on, do it. So that meant we had to do the final 10 pubs without a valuable member of our team, and it only felt right to give Luke the send-off he deserved. And just like that, it was the final 10 pubs for each team. Me and Callum were getting sick of posh pubs, but our solution wasn't exactly ideal. We decided to combat that by going to Canary Wharf. Yes. Oh, spoiler alert, you can definitely tell it's Canary Wharf. <laughs> Why does it cost five pounds for a cider? <laughs> five pounds for a cider. <laughs> well, as Callum and Ben were bankrupt, me and Charlie realized we were quite easily impressed. Why have they got teapots? They got teapots on the shelf. Don't mind me. Just playing darts. It is a bit small in here, however, they do have deal or no deal. Speaking of deals, it was at this point that me and Ben realised that we had to go elsewhere to find some decent drink prices. We decided to go to Greenwich and find a Weatherspoons, which Ben was beyond excited for. The gear clock, and it's a Weatherspoons, eh? <laughs> Denied with appreciative enthusiasm. And Greenwich is where we ended. 100 pubs in 24 hours. But now it was time for the most important part. Each team has to nominate their favourite pub. Ben, Luke and I decided to nominate Dingwalls in Camden, and Curtis and Charlie decided to nominate the Ball Street Tavern in Covent Garden. As a group, we will then go to both pubs and finally answer the question. Where is the best place to drink in London? Right guys, I don't mean to alarm you, but I'm just about to take you to the best pub that you'll ever go in in your entire so life. So you're oh, telling me claim. this could be the best pub in London? Easily. Well, you reckon? Is, Easily. It's all about the Bow Street Tavern, yeah? Open your eyes now. Oh my god! <gasps> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it does look a bit like a house, but that's not a bad thing. Yeah. It does seem welcoming, I'll give you that. Holy, pardon the pun. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice, nice. What matters most is what's inside, so let's have yeah. a look. I welcome you the Bow Street Tavern. Thank you, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. Also, the best bit about this pub, guys, right? TARDIS. Okay, <laughs> straight away we'll say, very pubby. Because we went in a few pubs when we went around that were more barry than pubs. Yeah, this is a nice vibe. little like vibe, I reckon. The aesthetics. The aesthetics. You've written the aesthetics, Mate, are you? They've definitely got an interior designer. That's all I'm going to say. It's half three in the afternoon and it's busy. You know what? You've done well. You've hey. done well. Right, guys, I'm sorry, but this place wins. Oh, no. What's he found? Trivial Pursuit. No way. Is this actually Trivial Pursuit? Yes. Are you going to ever play your Trivial Pursuit on the Nintendo Switch? I didn't know Trivial Pursuit was a real game. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, I've got to be honest with you. As much as there is a few positives, there are multiple negatives, okay? No. I'm going to tell you right now. That pint cost me £6.30. It's usually £5.550 at most in London, right? £6.30? Yeah. I might need to get out of bank loan. But you pay for quality. That's what you pay for. Do you? Because I don't have a seat right now, Charlie. <laughs> I may look small. It may look like I'm sat down, but I promise I am stood up currently. <laughs> the extra pounds you spent on that pint, that's for the TARDIS. So I'm paying an extra, what, 80 pence just for a TARDIS? Yeah, but it's worth it, it isn't it? It might be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Out of 10, what's your rating on the Bow Street Tavern? Ooh, okay. See, we've got to think about a lot of things here. There was a few negatives. The price is a hard one to look past, I've got to be honest. It was expensive. For the best pub in London, it's got to be somewhere where it's like, every Saturday you just go to the boys like, Oi, yeah. should we go to the, what's it called? Bow Street Tavern. Street yeah, Tavern. see, even that's a mouthful. That's a negative. <laughs> I'll give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. Oh, okay. that's Only the price it. brought it down, really. As soon as we stepped in the door, I did get a scent of some sort of musk. In the <laughs> it didn't feel warm. Oh, dear. It's but it... <laughs> <laughs> I'd give it an 8. An okay. Eight. So now that the results were in for the Bow Street Tavern, it was time to visit Dingwalls. First positive of this place, by the way. Look how many people are outside already. Camden's just it's a better a area. Vibey. It's a bit vibey. A little bit, you know. One thing I do love about Camden, right, is it's a complete mixture of people, right? You've got old dons from the 50s, you've got punks, you've got roadmen, you've got trendy, like, 
old-fashioned like art college students, mate. There's a whole conglomerate of people here. Conglomerate, you know? <laughs> wow! Right, Charlie and Curtis, are you ready to see the real winner? Right, I'm just gonna say, guys, Corona, three pound fifty. Are you taking the piss? I paid like five fifty in the one before. I can see why you brought us here, and I'm loving it already. Been here a few times, but for some reason. These updated tables, just the general software update of the place. The I'm software, liking it. They just got it's Windows 11. Yeah, they just got Windows 11 and <laughs> nice. I'm loving it. I've never been up here, but I like those heat does yeah. right there. Mate, the heat is the heat. Yeah. To be honest, the heaters do make the place. Heaters, music, and atmosphere. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. I feel like we have this in a bag, you know. I think we're gonna win. The other place was great, but there's no way we lose to it. Come on. Nah, this nah, that is nah, better. Ding was better. Ding was better. <laughs> I think this one's better than our one. Oh! <laughs> I, I, I actually do think so, you yeah. know. We did it, Ben. We fucking did it. And I'm gonna rate this place a 9 out of 10. I didn't give a single 9 for any of the pubs that we oh, went to. I'm gonna give it 10 out of 10! Oh, we love to see it! And there we have it folks. After a gruelling 24 hours, a hundred pubs visited and far too many drinks consumed, we had finally found the best pub in London. Ding walls. Oh, apart from the fact that there's actually over 3,500 pubs in London, so it's not exactly a fair conclusion. But one conclusion that is 100% accurate is who won the challenges? Right then, Charlie and Curse. You're probably wondering why I've got you here today. Yeah, we are. I might yeah. get to So, you know how we did that pub crawl video the other day? Yeah. Yeah, and there's challenges, yeah. and the loser had to buy all the drinks. You fucking lost, haven't you? Uh, actually, kind of the opposite. It was 2 1 to our team. You've got to pay for the drink. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck and wait, it's wait, quite wait, 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 how much was it? It's, it's, a, it's a good few hundred quid, let's just say that. You're fucking joking. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Yeah, I don't have a few hundred quid for this. I like. don't even have the money to pay for <laughs>